Hey, today I'll show you how to install a cell phone signal booster in your car. Signal boosters are great to keep you connected wherever you need to travel. So let's get started. Inside the box for your booster, you'll find the installation manual, the signal booster, a DC power supply, the outside antenna, and the inside antenna with a Velcro mounting strip. On the front of your booster, you'll see a sticker that makes it very easy to register your booster. I'd recommend doing a soft install before you begin the actual installation. A soft install is simply placing the components in the location you think you want them and making sure that everything will fit properly and that the antenna and power cables will reach the booster. Once you're satisfied with your mounting locations for the various components, you're ready to begin. Start by mounting the outside antenna. If you've got a hatchback car, check out this video for a helpful video on installing the outside antenna on a hatchback. The antenna mounts to your vehicle using a super strong rare earth magnet. Just pop it on the roof and it holds it securely in place. Place the antenna at least 6 inches away from any windows, including sunroofs, and at least a foot away from any other antennas on the vehicle. This is a very important step. Having the antenna too close to a window or sunroof may cause oscillation, resulting in smaller coverage area inside or possibly shutting down the booster as a safeguard. Placing the antenna too close to another antenna will also negatively affect the performance of your booster. Antennas or metal objects nearby will shield the booster antenna or create interference with it, resulting in reduced performance. Don't mount the antenna on the trunk of your vehicle. Doing so will allow the signal to pass through the rear window and may cause oscillation. Make sure that you mount the antenna on the roof of your car. With the antenna in place, run the cable to a nearby door. There's a weather seal running around the lip of your door. On most vehicles, this is removable. Simply pull this back an inch or two to create a space and run the cable through. It's totally fine to do this and simply snaps back into place when you're done. The cable is thin yet strong and designed to be shut in a door. Run the cable through the gap you've created and into the vehicle. Then press the weather seal firmly back into place. Now run the cable to where the booster will be installed. For a professional look, remove the paneling and hide the cable beneath it, or tuck the cable behind the lip of your weather seal. Next, install the inside antenna. You'll want this near where you will be using the phone. We recommend at least 18 inches and no more than 36 inches away from where your device will be used. A few common spots are on the seat, on the dash, or if you use a cradle to hold your phone while you drive, near that location. The antenna is directional, meaning it broadcasts signal in only one direction. Make sure you mount the antenna facing in the direction of where you'll be using your device. Remove the film from the back of the Velcro strip and press it firmly in place. Allow the strip to rest for at least one hour before applying weight to it for a stronger bond. Attach the slim, low-profile antenna to the Velcro strip and run the cable to where you'll be installing the booster, following the same guidelines as before. Now install the booster. Connect the antenna cables to the proper connections on the booster. The cable connections should only be hand-tightened. Do not use tools. Using tools may over-tighten the connections and break them. With the cables connected, mount the booster in place. You can simply slide it under a seat or mount it securely in place. I'll use some zip ties to mount the booster under the seat. Wherever you decide to mount the booster, just make sure that it has adequate ventilation. Under the seat is fine. In the glove box with all of your other stuff is not. Connect the power supply to the booster and run the cable as before to a power port. Some power supplies feature an on-off switch. Switching this to the on position will illuminate a light, alerting you that you're powered up. If your power supply does not have a switch, simply plug the adapter into a power port and you're done. Make sure the power port you connect the booster to turns off when you shut off the car. Some power ports remain on even when your vehicle is off and can drain your battery. If you do connect your booster to one of these constant power ports, turn the switch on your adapter off or unplug it when you're leaving the vehicle. So that covers how to install a cell phone signal booster in your car. If you've got any questions about your installation, give us a call or check out our support center online. We'd be happy to help you out. Check out some of our other videos and please subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.